everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I was watching some videos, and I kept thinking I really want to start to crochet, but I didn't want to sit. I would stay in the room and never come out if I started a project. I was going to make another headband, and then I thought I'd like to really start that shawl, but I know if I start the shawl, I'll be in there for a long time, and I won't want to come out. I did finish one of my Tunisian um, they call them washcloths, but I'm going to use them as like a doily underneath something. They look like they look um, a lot prettier for something like that. But um, today when I was watching Paige Family Homestead, I don't know if you've ever watched them or not, but they're really, Andy is really funny, and his wife Peggy is usually behind the camera. And so you see Andy, and he was making bacon, and I said to Jim, I said, maybe we should make some bacon. So we made some bacon, but I used the bacon. We had some bacon in the freezer that Emily, when she wouldn't eat pork. So it's it's turkey bacon. It's not, and you can taste the sugar in it. You know, a lot of, we haven't had any bad bacon in a long time. But this, you could actually taste the sugar in it. So we had bought that because Emily would not eat pork. Pigs are her favorite animal, and so we had to, if we wanted bacon, we had to have the turkey bacon. And every now and then we would sneak in a regular one. And she really never knew the difference, but I can tell the difference. I was also watching Lori Fluffy No Mo, And she did this really neat thing where she took a cotton ball, she dipped it in some Vaseline, and then she lit it. And it was a nice, easy way to start your little campfire or your little, um, in your, in your fire pit. And I was thinking, this is perfect. I'll have to show Emily this because Emily wanted to have a little fire in her little fire pit the other day. And I guess she couldn't get it to light. And so this would this would help her. And the wood, I think, was wet. So <laughs> no wonder it wouldn't light. But this would really help her. So um, that was um, the other two things that I had watched. And then yesterday, I talked about the stuff. And I got a lot of good suggestions of what to do with that stuff. And the one comment that was that really hits home is the one that says, when your stuff is in the way of the stuff that you're looking for, then you've got too much stuff. <laughs> I loved that one. That was so funny. And that was from Mike. Carno Matt actually said that one. I remembered it. And um, what I wanted to say in, in my comments, but it just takes so much to say whatever I want to say because I want to talk a lot. And I don't want to have to write it all, write it. So what I was thinking of is my stuff is not the kind of stuff that you'd have a yard sale with. Have you ever thought of the stuff that's in your junk drawer in your kitchen? You know, when you put stuff in there. <laughs> this isn't Marnie's coming to mind now. Keto Marnie, um, the keto crocheter. <laughs> Because she said in the last video she should play it again and count how many times I say, say stuff. That that could be a nice little, um, whatever. <laughs> I've watched some videos where they, they would have a giveaway or something and you'd have to tell them how many times they said a certain word in, the, in this other video. And so you had to go and watch it and you had to watch it and listen really close. But anyways, have you, if you, have you ever thought of the stuff that's in your, your junk drawer in your kitchens? We all have a junk drawer. I have actually two junk drawers, and Jim has a junk drawer. His junk drawer has tools in it and a Not couple some magazines, bolts, some screws, and, and it's got the pliers and the and the tape measure, and screwdriver. it's got real stuff in it. <laughs> and then I've got a stuffed. I got a drawer that is filled with stuff like nail stuff and um. Um, important, it's more important stuff like my rulers and things are in this other drawer and uh, things that I have to really know where they are, are in that drawer. Okay, and then I have a junk junk drawer. And then the junk junk drawer are things that I put that I don't know where I want to put them and so I put them in this drawer. Or it's things that I don't want to really get rid of because I might need it. Um, or I find a part to something and I think, what the heck does this go to? I know it goes to something, so I better keep it for a while and I stick it in the, that junk drawer. So that's more stuff. So this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. It's not um, big pieces like um, furniture that you could just take out and 
sell or it's not an appliance that you could sell. It's not things that are that people would want. <laughs> and you're thinking, what am I keeping it for? I don't know. Because it's my stuff. And it's <laughs> when it's my stuff, I think it's important, I guess. So that's what I was thinking of yesterday when I mentioned stuff. So, do you have stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> this stuff thing is so... It is funny to me because we all have it and we all want to get rid of it. And there's some of you that have less of it. And there's some of us that have so much of it that mm, we don't even know what to do with it. And your mine is always more important than yours. Yes, yes. And Jim was saying, well, I could get rid of the stuff. And I says, yeah, but some of that stuff is your stuff. And I don't want to get rid of your stuff. And he goes, mm, it's okay. And he would miss it if I got rid of it. I remember when he had this shirt that he must have liked. I didn't like it at all. I thought it was the dumbest shirt ever. And I got rid of it. And one time he was looking for that shirt. And I says, I think it disappeared. I don't know where it is. Well, I knew where it was. I, I had put it in the Goodwill bag and it was gone. But that was his stuff. <laughs> and it wasn't my stuff. So that's I guess that's it. The end of the stuff talk for now. <laughs> Might have more stuff to buy. <laughs> oh, gosh. So you have a great night and I'll talk to you then. Bye.